Hey guys, the Tesla Spring 2025 software update just landed on my car tonight and I went for a drive to see what's going on and this is a big one and I'm really excited for some of these features. So I actually got the 2025.14.3 .20, which has minor fixes in addition to all of the Spring software updates. Some really interesting features here. I was really waiting for a long time for the adaptive headlights to land on the Tesla Model Y that I have here. This is a 2022 and of course it has the projector style headlights, but it never had the adaptive software to go along with it for the high beams that are adaptive so you're not blinding oncoming traffic. Of course, if you're familiar with projector, projector style headlights, you could see here when I flash my high beams, you could see there's square pixels in the high beam. So what's gonna happen with the new update is that it's gonna use the camera from the top here to selectively dim some of the high, high beam pixels to not blind oncoming traffic while still illuminating the dark side of the road. So that's actually um, here under lights now. We have adaptive headlights. So this is on by default now. So we're gonna take it to a dark road right now and see if this works. The other really interesting update uh, is in the navigation or the trip planner so now if we choose a location that's really far away um, and then it's going to plan our supercharging stops this is really cool i used to do this manually but now you could do it in trip planner so now you have the option of the fastest route with in this case the trip to boston from toronto would be uh what is it five charging stops at my low state of charge right now or i could do best amenities and fewer stops so now we only have three stops that are much longer, uh, but these these stops have better amenities. Uh, so pretty cool. Um, this is a really cool feature. Uh, I think I'm gonna be definitely using this on a road trip, but I wanna see how effective these adaptive headlights are. I'm gonna take it on a dark road and we're gonna see if it works. Let me mount the camera and we'll go check it out. Now here we are on a very dark road no street lights here and I've just noticed that the automatic high beams icon has appeared on my dash so they are on right now and on my right side the scene is really well illuminated but there's a car in a distance and you can see actually that it is blocking off those pixels on the left actively now let's wait for this car to pass and here we are we have full illumination right now uh, I'm surprised how well this is working of course I'm not impressed that it took three years for me to get this feature on my car that I bought in 2022, uh, but it is working pretty well. I think this software came to Europe earlier because their regulations are a little bit ahead of ours. So here we go, a car came over the hill and I could see that that section of the road has been dimmed. Now. Let's see, this car is going to pass and we're going to go to full brights on both sides. Yeah, here we go. I don't know how, how well you can see it on my camera, but it is working very well. Here we go. The brights just came on again. I'm on a dark road and there's a car in front of me this time. And no, no oncoming cars, but there's a car in front of me. And I could see that the Tesla in front of me is actually dim, but the surroundings on my right and on my left have been brightened so really cool it is working in real time I'm gonna come closer behind this car to see how the headlights react so now you can see I'm right behind this Tesla another Model Y and the car is not illuminated but the surroundings are